Hey, what's up guys? Uh, this is Brad with Spy Fitness and I, I want to do another fast video. Um, I think I'm getting better at these, I think. Uh, this again is a kind of a one dimensional, very direct idea to throw at you for consideration. Now, I understand many of you may not necessarily have this particular setup. Um, and I'll, I'll throw you an idea at the end of this that maybe something might be able, you might be able to do. However, um, the thing I want to throw at you is a back workout, right? So a very simple back workout, but it's very different than what you're used to. And in order to do that, what I'm going to use is my reverse hyper, right? So I rock the Titan T3 rack. Uh, I have their Titans reverse hyper attachment, which fits snugly into my T3 and allows me to have the reverse hyper. One different kind of way that you can use this instead of it being a strict reverse hyper is as a row machine. So what I like to do is kind of just brace my head on here and grab the strap and then very slowly contract up and then slowly contract down. So that concentric piece, I like to make it very concerted and very deliberate. Nice slow contraction. And then on that eccentric piece, a, a really slow release of that. So you can really feel that in both ways. And I think this is kind of an interesting thing because obviously the, 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 the most of the weight that you feel is uh, on, that, on that, that full contraction. So when the, the, the pendulum hangs down below in its resting position, there's, you're not really fighting anything. But the more that you contract, as that pendulum swings up and towards your body, you have to fight more and more gravity to be able to hold that weight. And I really like that because it just nails that contraction piece. So especially if you're someone who has maybe some difficulty in getting the contraction in the back and feeling that contraction, this might be something that you could try in order to be able to kind of get a little bit more back development and get more out of your back and feel that contraction. I really, really enjoy this. And this is kind of an alternate way that you might be able to use uh, a piece of equipment that maybe at, at first look would seem very linear, but there's a number of things that you can do with it, this being one of them. And I, I really like it. And so we've, hitting it, we're, we've been hitting it today's workout and, uh, and I'm feeling it in my back. Nat, how about you? Are you feeling it in your back? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, super enthusiastic. All right, now I'm just gonna grab a small band, but if you don't happen to have the same setup that I have, you know, if you don't have, I jumped off screen there for a second. If you don't have uh, a reverse hyper of your own or one accessible to you, one thing you might be able to do is grab a band. And with a band from a low position, you might be able to get that same kind of contraction. Slow contraction, Hi. slow release. So, you're a, my little girl stepping in here. You're good. Come here and say hi, Jojo. Say hi. Hi. Okay. She came so, to bring me a candy. Oh, she brought, she brought me now Werther's. <laughs> um, so anyway, to, just to, to, to drive the point home, uh, using this as a kind of a back workout, I think is very, very interesting and I really, really like it. It's something different that maybe some of you guys at home aren't doing. Um, and if you don't happen to have a reverse hyper or don't have access to a reverse hyper, this little trick that I use the band with a low attachment kind of emulates that too, right? Because as you pull on the band, you get more and more tension. And then as you release the band, the band relaxes a little bit more and you have less and less tension, which emulates that pendulum-like effect that you get with the reverse hyper. Anyway, I thought that that was something really interesting. I wanted to throw it at you guys just for consideration so that you might be able to work it in your own rotations uh, for your own training purposes, whatever your various goals might be. Um, yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, that's the video. Hopefully you liked it. If you, if you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up. And be sure to leave me a, a comment, question, smart remark in the, in the description box below or the comment box below and I, I will respond. I want to thank you guys and, and always show appreciation for how much you guys have helped grow this channel to what it is today. It wouldn't be anything without you and a few of your friends and I really do appreciate that. Uh, so thank you very much for being here and supporting the channel and making what it is. If you want to continue to support the channel, uh, you can do so by continuing to like, share and, and um, you know, turn new friends on to the, to the videos. Or if you've seen a few videos and haven't subbed up yet, you can help the channel by subscribing. Additionally, I have a few links in the description box below an Amazon uh, store page that I have a, a variety of uh, ideas and items that I think are really cool that are helpful for training that might be useful for you. 
So if you check that out and purchase something from that, uh, that store page, it helps channel as well as uh, my Titan affiliate link as well. So if some of the Titan gear that I have is interesting to you guys, um, you can use that affiliate link to come over to Titan and check it out. If you make some purchases, that helps the channel. And then lastly, we do have merch. And I have a description or a uh, link in the description box below rather that you guys can check out shirts and things that we have available that you guys can support uh, Train to Spite. And it does make a huge difference and I appreciate your, your continued support and uh, everything that you guys do do. Do 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 do. Anyway, is that uh, the new dog's name? Do do. Do do. Ar Armani. It's Armani. <laughs> new dog's name is Armani. Oh anyway, guys, that's it. I appreciate you checking this one out. And uh, remember, no matter what it is, you guys think that you can't do whatever those limitations may be in your mind. Uh, you got to find ways to kind of work around things. Find new ways to get after the muscle groups that you want to develop, and try new shit like what I've shown you here today. And uh, you're either gonna find that excuse, you're gonna find the way, and I hope that you guys continue to find the way by implementing new things into your routine, in your routine, routine. I can talk. Um, but yeah, this is, this is just a couple ideas. I think it'd be super helpful, and we'll help you guys be the better you version somewhere inside of you, I think, perhaps, maybe. So his English is messed up after me showing him multiple videos of Puerto Ricans yeah. and Dominicans mispronouncing <laughs> words. I've so been, this is what you get now. I, I've, I've been infected by Spanglish. You're very welcome. <laughs> anyway, that's it, guys. I appreciate you checking out. We'll see you in the next one. Peace. Peace. Ah.